This is the second part to how to recalibrate a chronograph um, with a Swiss ISA movement. Uh, on the first part I recalibrated an Invicta uh, with a Swiss ISA movement. Now this model right here is uh, very similar um, but instead of having the day of the week at the 6 o'clock position it has the date and um, let me show you how this movement works because it's actually kind of cool it doesn't have the um, the ticking motion that you see on most chronographs it actually has a smooth sweeping motion around the dial which uh, as I said gives you the appearance of having an automatic or a mechanical watch. You can tell the difference on the 3 o'clock sub-dial how the hand is ticking. That's usually how most um, quartz watches look. So that's, that is really cool. So you can um, stop and reset. And um, now on to recalibrating the watch. First of all, this model, this Nautica, has a screw down crown, so I have to unscrew it first. Let me pull the crown out to the last stop and move those hands out of the way. Right. Let's move them. right there. Now, in order to change the date on the 6 o'clock subtitle, I have to go to the first click and then rotate the crown. You can hear that clicking. And I can choose the date Now, um, the difference about this watch is that I can even have the crown screwed in and be able to calibrate the chronograph. First of all, I have to press and hold both pushers. And then um, both hands will do a quick sweep all around the dial. Hold on. Okay, and now I can recalibrate the nine, nine o'clock sub dial by pressing the bottom pusher. And for some reason, it's not working. So let me try this again. Press and hold both, and then and there we go. The nine o'clock sub dial is back at zero, and now I can press the top pusher, and the big second hand will be recalibrated. And then, in order to save my settings, I have to press both pushers again. And now I can press start, stop, and reset. Hold on. Reset. There we go. 
and that's how you recalibrate this particular Swiss ISA movement.